Well, good morning, gang. Yep, we're still here in Las Vegas. Breck and I have been staying at the Ellis Island Hotel here. Pretty nice place, pretty affordable. Can't recommend it enough. We're going to be heading out of town today, though. And we have a lot to see on our way out. So Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Yep, this has been beyond a fantastic trip since we've been here. But we have a lot to see on our way back, and I know you guys are going to love it. parking garage and you know what's funny is when we were at Zach Baggins they were telling us a story about a boy who was walking up the wall and now we're in the parking garage seeing all these footprints all over the ceiling and we're going are people walking all over the ceilings here too well Breck I promised everyone we were gonna try and do two vlogs today I don't know if it's gonna happen but we'll try right now we're heading to Naked City Pizza because they commented on my Instagram that they watch me every day, so we're gonna stop and have a bite to eat there. We're right behind a Rolls Royce, black Phantom Rolls Royce, with a 711 Win license plate. Doesn't get much more Vegas than that. Not at all. Should I ram them? No. No. Fucking donuts. Well, I don't know if this is the proper Naked City Pizza that watches my channel or not. We put it in the map program and there's uh, three or four of them, so we went for this one, the one on Paradise. Cool decorations. Chris Weber. Huh, awesome. Ah, oh, Grandma Ma Johnson. Cool. Thurman Thomas. Yeah, pretty cool theme in here. See, they make those monstrous, um, like sheet pizzas here. We're actually getting ours to go. When they were handing it to us, the people that were coming in said, we heard this is the best pizza in Las Vegas. Breck, Breck and I have just taken our first bites. Breck, what do you think? Okay. Breck and I stopped off before we took off out of Vegas and did another vlog, so you guys will see that tomorrow. We're about to exit up here because we're gonna go to Terrible's Casino and we see a sign that says world's largest Chevron. Woohoo! There it is, the world's largest Chevron. Even has a white castle. Here it is. Okay, what we want to check out in here is they have a movie car collection. Well, here it is. Check this out. And if you want some complimentary popcorn, help yourself. Look at this collection. I recognize a few already. At the end. Now, I think these are not the originals, but we'll see. See if there's any placards or anything for some of them. Here's a Batmobile. Adam West Batmobile. We've seen a ton of those in our life, haven't we? Doesn't make it any less cool. I still love seeing them. It says on this uh, information here that it was in the uh, Batman movie, Batman TV series. I always love seeing the Batmobile. Now here's another DeLorean from Back to the Future. We know this is not one of the originals though, for sure. I've seen a lot of those lately. <laughs> Out of time. Now this car actually was the car from Furious 7, the 1967 Chevy Camaro. It says this was the actual one from the 2015 movie. That's cool. Fast and the Furious 7. And this is another Fast and the Furious. This is Shaw's ramp car from the 2012 movie. It's kind of cool to see. Look at that. So they got a picture of it right there. Never saw those movies. Never was really into them. 
but I do love checking out movie cars, so I'll always check them out. This is also from Fast and the Furious 7. Alright, let's move on and check out some more of the collection. Now this isn't a movie car, but it says this is an official championship pickup truck. It's in the Off-Road Motorsports Hall of Fame, Mickey Thompson. Huh. I know nothing about this world, so hope some of you enjoy this that know about it. It looks like this most of this section is all the Off-Road Hall of Fame. Well, since we're here, I'll briefly show it, you know. Not my world but it's somebody so since we're here and it's included in showing some of these movie cars and things we'll show them yeah I didn't even know the off-road Hall of Fame stuff was here Corky McMillan Snorton Nortons <laughs> my grandpa's probably watching this vlog right now saying I know what he Converted to make that car. Oh, it's a patriotic Hummer It's a Baja Triumph 1959 Triumph There's a dirt bike. I see stuff like that and I always think of Rambo when he takes that one and goes riding off into the forest. Oh That is kind of cool 1967 Eckhart buggy Those are cool. I always like buggies and then this is overall winner of the first inaugural Mexican 1000 rally. Huh. 67 Myers Manx, number 10. Wow. That's cool. A little bit of history. All right, Breck, I promised you alien jerky. Let's rock. Let's get to the alien jerky place. Let's do it. Pretty cool free attraction if you're traveling in between Baker and Las Vegas. It's at Terrible's Hotel and Casino, and it's a free attraction. You can just walk in, check it out for yourself. Get some good photos. Breck's all excited because he got a new shirt. He's insisting on switching shirts. So you just had to switch shirts, didn't you? Just had to. Well, is that your way of uh, kind of tipping him off as to what we did for tomorrow's vlog? Yeah, a little spoiler alert. Cool. Goodbye, old timer. Good luck panning for gold. As promised, we have returned. I guarantee you Breck would have cried the whole way back to Orange County if we didn't stop here, so we're here. Watch out for the tires though, huh? Breck's investigating the space vessels. Hey, don't mess with the Galaxy Police, dude. This is always a pretty poppin' experience. You can tell everybody's here. Trust no one, I never do. Hey Breck, I dare you to buy this invisible jerky. Roadkill, yep. I'm actually buying a ton of it. I'm buying like six bags because I'm giving my girlfriend two bags, I'm giving Scott two bags, and I'm keeping two bags. Check out this guy, he's just begging for someone to sit with him. Oh, look at the fortune teller. Hope this guy's happy. I'm buying all of this. Tons of insane hot sauces here, too. I think we got what we want. We're going to head out of here. This is definitely a cool tourist spot. Cool tourist trap. Look at this tourist right here. Yeah, I kid Breck, but I love coming here too. It's one of my favorite stops along the way. And check this out. Looks like they're going to open a little pop-up back here too. Some little invasion area. Take a look at that. You can see the UFO that they have on top. Alright, goodbye alien jerky place. We'll see you next time we're coming through. We have another stop not too far from here. Place I've never actually been to. There's the Mad Greek. That place was really cool.
Here's the sign for our next stop. Peggy Sue's 50's Diner. Wow, look at all the tanks. Well, this should be awesome. I've heard the legend of Peggy Sue's, but I've never been here. We're gonna check out the back first, though, because I wanna check out the dinosaur park. Oh, look. We could go to Graceland. This place is too much, man. Look at this. This is awesome. Check this out. That's so cool. <laughs> hey, Flash could have a friend. Yeah, we won't, we won't, we won't. Don't worry. Oh, look over here. A little pizza place with a dinosaur on top. I'll oh, check this out, man. This is just too cool. I love this stuff. Don't feed the dinosaurs either. Get it? Dinosaurs? Yep. No lack of jokes around here. What a cool little place this is. Look at the brontosaurus. That's awesome. Look over here, Peggy Sue's Dinosaurus Park. Now the real question is, I do know what a brontosaurus is, but why is there a King Kong looking gorilla over here? I'm not really complaining, I'm just curious. Just a little bit curious. And then what is that? T-Rex or a Raptor? What is that? Pretty cool park, huh, Breck? Awesome. What do you think? You want to go check out the inside? Let's see what's in there. All right, let's go. Let's go. So we're going to walk around to the front of the park. This looks like this is a, uh, a performance stage out here for people enjoying the dinosaur park. All right, man, stay safe. Stay safe out there. All right, let's go on in. Oh, excellent. Elvis can give us our fortune. We'll probably have to do that. Oh, there's Betty Boop. Nice to see you, Betty. Here's the souvenir shop. Oh, look at that. Wizard of Oz masks. Classic. Whoa. This is the ice cream parlor section, the candy, all that stuff. This is like a dream place. Willy Wonka. Look who's sitting here at the end of the bar all by yourself. I love your glasses. Take a look behind the bar. This is great. Oh, this guy looks like he's ready to take our order, huh? And the only jeweled cheeseburger in Guillermo, California. Well, I knew we'd find it someday. Oh, Peggy Sue's. This is amazing. All right, I think we're going to go get a booth. A bunch of John Wayne stuff cookie jar now if you start working your way back to the bathrooms you got a James Dean back here well time to explore it wow check this place out tons of Elvis and Marilyn and John Wayne and look there's even an Elvis figure back there how cool is that <laughs> Oh, I think we got to eat in here. Look at all the Lucy stuff. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, wow, look at the Blues Brothers. That is awesome. Look at the roller skating window up there. Look at the inside of this place. They have like five or six different big like restaurant-sized rooms to eat in. There's all the Wizard of Oz stuff. And look, Laurel and Hardy and W.C. Fields. Elvis, Mae West. Who knows, maybe we'll have some of the pie. That looks amazing. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Jeez. And then if you go down this way, there's Rodney Dangerfield, a signed picture. And uh, they have a pizza parlor in here as well. Are you kidding me? This place is the ultimate. You know what's cool about this? You could come here multiple times and try every room, try every eatery in it. I'm guessing that's Peggy Sue. Oh, there's Claudette Colbert. And look at all the Lucy stuff on the wall. That's just too cool. Even the doll up there. Oh, it's Whiplash. The plain whiter shade of pale. We opted for the 
booth. You knew we'd take this one, didn't you? So we're not all that hungry, but we wanted to come in and get something. Check out the menu here. I noticed they had like a Buddy Holly cheeseburger on the menu up here. Marlon Brando mushroom burger. Kind of cool. You got the strawberry shake, the Elvis shake, didn't you? I did. Nice. I got a uh, cup of clam chowder and some deep fried pickles. Can't go wrong with that. That's a pretty good Bob Hope. And then over here you have pretty good Betty Davis. Here's my cup of clam chowder. We were originally going to try and hit Calico Ghost Town, but the sun's going down. We just don't have time, so this will probably be our last stop. Because um, after this, we're just going to drive back to Breck's house, and I'm going to go pick up Jaw. So, I don't know. We're going to eat our food, and we'll decide after that. All right, there it is. Well, another winner. Everything here has been great, right, dude? Other than Elvis sitting right behind us, this was also a perfect place to sit because that's a good thing to remember. Don't postpone joy. All right, time to page Shirley Temple. Okay, goodbye, Betty. Well, too bad we got here too late to meet Peggy Sue. Here's her baby clothes and a picture of her with Clint Eastwood. She actually was uh, used to be an actress. Sadly, it's time to depart. Oh, wow, take a look at that. A Song of the South poster. You don't see those very often. Song of the South. Well, I think we're going to call it a day. We're going to drive back to Breck's place and the vlog's going to end anyway. So say goodbye, Breck. Why don't you give him a wave from Peggy Sue's. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.